in the way. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's been gorgeous. I love that blue sky and the low humidity that comes along with it and temperatures, of course, that have been running above normal by some five degrees. And we're enjoying those upper 70s and low 80s now. But take a look. Delta is on the way for us. We've got those shower chances building late Saturday. We're going to have some scattered showers throughout the day. And then it looks like steadier rain developing overnight into Sunday. Around an inch of rain to two inches is easily possible with this tropical moisture that lifts our way. Now, gusts 10 to 20 miles an hour. So pretty average for what we've seen with any systems coming in from the west. Now, the question is, it, what strength will it be and where does it make landfall? This is Hurricane Delta, now a Category 2 storm. As you remember, it made landfall earlier today along the Yucatan Peninsula, just south of Cancun at about uh, 645 this morning, just before 7 a.m. You can see the winds right now. The Hurricane Hunter has been able to determine that still strong and going with now down to 85 mile an hour winds based on that Hurricane Hunter aircraft reconnaissance mission that just came in. So it is still a Category 2 storm, but we're looking at that at 85 five mile an hour wind. So it's dropped about 15 miles an hour within the last uh, advisory category. So gusts were at 105. We're now beginning to see them drop just a little bit to about 100 miles an hour. Look at the track right now. You can see as it tracks towards Saturday into Nashville and Tennessee area, we're going to have the impacts of all of that moisture spreading into the Carolinas. We do have the winds that continue out of the southwest with these wonderful warm 80s out there. Nice to see 80s in the triad as well and some 70s too up in the mountains. Take a look at where we're heading though with all of that moisture. It is going to keep us a little cooler at least as we have one front sweeping in on Thursday into Friday to bring in some slight chance of showers. We think most of the rain though comes in from the tropical moisture. Saturday looks light. Occasional showers could bring in a quarter to a half an inch and then we get you into Sunday evening. So between Saturday night and Sunday, another inch is possible and we may see more depending on the track and timing of this. If it slows down a little bit, remnant moisture could help to bring in those two inch totals in a few spots, especially up in the mountains. So this is how it looks with our European model. You can see it approaching the coastline near Beaumont, Texas to Houston and then rolling up with the National Hurricane Center forecast track officially taking it into western Louisiana and moves to the north and east and then as it tracks over Tennessee it may take a little bit more of a jog to the east and how far south it goes will help determine how much rain we get too but all of that moisture spreads in ahead of its actual track as you know because we're in that northeastern quadrant. Take a look at your temperatures overnight we get you down into those low 50s by 6 a.m. You're at 53 degrees in the mountains. High temperatures tomorrow near 72 climbing nicely through the lunch hour too into those 60s to near 72 and in the foothills from near 55 in the morning you're going to be warming for a beautiful day into the upper 70s again lots of sunshine and a light breeze there a little bit breezier in the mountains with winds out of the northwest at 10 and in the triad we've got temperatures warming from 57 degrees to near 80 again so gorgeous we love it and uh, we're going to see more of that sunshine for you on your thursday before the clouds sneak in and we think that happens late tomorrow afternoon and evening and then you've got those shower chances for Friday that are very minimal. We could see maybe a sprinkle. It's going to be cloudier more than anything, and we keep temperatures in those low 70s for actual highs, although some of our forecast models want to bring in some warmer temps on Friday. Right now, we've got you feeling a bit more mild. Here's that seven day. You can see Thursday at 80 degrees and rain chances coming up Saturday and Sunday for you with a few lingering scattered showers Monday and Tuesday. Otherwise, getting you drier for Wednesday of next week.